The day one of Gamescom 2021 just wrapped up and we got a lot of new information on Nintendo Switch titles that we have to talk about, some brand new announcements, and then also an overview trailer released from Nintendo on one of its September game releases. What's up, nation? If it's your first time on the channel, make sure you join Summer Nation by subscribing below. Hit the like button on this video if you enjoy it today, and make sure you turn on your bell notification icon so you're kept up to date with all the news, gaming news. As I mentioned, guys, we are talking about Gamescom 2021 today as the day one of the event just got wrapped up, and this is typically compared to an E3 style of showcase. While, you know, we don't get the biggest announcements ever from Gamescom, this was an okay event overall. I was definitely underwhelmed as far as like brand new major game releasing releases or announcements, but overall they did show a lot of new exciting footage for some Switch titles that I want to talk about today. The first of which that I want to cover is Marvel Midnight Suns, as this got officially confirmed that it will be coming to the Switch for a March 2022 release and I will be very excited to see what the gameplay actually looks like on the Nintendo Switch version because if you watch this trailer back the graphical fidelity of this game is definitely next level and it's probably something that could have used something like a Switch Pro 4k upgrade like we were heavily expecting for Nintendo to announce but it does not appear that we will be getting a 4k capable Switch or a beefed up hardware style of a Switch anytime soon so we will have to wait and see how this game actually runs but it did look like most of the trailer that they showed was all pre-rendered and kind of not in-game footage I couldn't tell if a couple parts that they were actually doing combat were was from in-game but it looked like the way that the camera was panning it was most likely all cutscene and not actual gameplay footage so I will keep my eye on this one as I do think the story could be fantastic for a Marvel game like this and I am excited to see it coming to the Switch as it will be delivered from 2k and we don't always see these type of games support on the switch so I was relieved to see that and it is a launching day and date which is another really cool thing so this is not something that Nintendo switch fans will have to wait longer to play through but I would love to hear from you guys if you got excited for Marvel Midnight Suns and if you'll plan on potentially picking this one up on the March 2022 release now we also got a very brief super quick trailer for a Jumanji game that will be coming to both Steam and the Nintendo Switch and this looks like more of a, the indie style games it wasn't a big deal to me it didn't really entice me at all I do like Jumanji the series but it's not something that I want to go play a virtual board game version of it as they only did like a quick glimpse of what the gameplay actually looks like and it looks like it's some kind of probably tactical style game as you are on a board of Jumanji the game and I'm assuming you'll have to go through and figure out the mechanics on how to survive and win the game. And then, you know, it does look okay. The 30 second trailer didn't really do anything for me to really keep my eye on this as we will be apparently getting its release soon as it just said coming soon and not an official release window. So you can probably expect the new Jumanji game to be out in 2021. Now, the next game we're covering on the list is definitely my most anticipated out of the ones we're talking about today, and that is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge, as I think this game looks incredible. And if you grew up playing the classic Turtles games, you're probably ready for another beat em up style game that you can play co op with with friends, and you can relive this classic style of combat and style of game that we really don't see very much of anymore. We haven't seen this type of genre get a lot of love and attention, so I do absolutely plan on picking this game up when it releases but that is part of the sad news that we got today because there was a lot of fan hype and speculation that this might even be shadow dropped to this event or maybe it would at least be a 2021 release and it does appear that this is not only officially a 2022 title now but it doesn't even have a window in 2022 so it wasn't early 2022 or March of 2022 it was just 2022 so we don't know how much longer we will have to wait for shredder's revenge we did get a new character announcement that april o'neill will be playable in this game so that's going to be exciting and i will be curious to see if they expand the roster any further than that but we do at least have her confirmed as a playable character and we know to expect this title in 2022 just not any kind of window so keep it tuned in here and i will continue to cover this game as we get updates as i am very much looking forward to playing this at, in its eventual release in 2022. Now from there we had an update on super monkey ball banana mania that will be releasing on october 5th and that is that we will get a dlc character added in as post game dlc for 4.99 and that is morgana from persona 5. now i'm not the biggest persona fan out there so i do not know who this character is and it did look like it's a cool character but to me it has no real value as you know i'm sorry switch fans if you're a huge persona fan please go ahead and let me know why i should play it in the comments down below but i to this point in time have not played through the persona games i've just seen them talk Talked about and I do know they have a beloved fan crowd but this one for me didn't get me super hyped or anything but I will definitely be checking out Super Monkey Ball when it does release as I have some good memories of playing through the original titles back on the GameCube and I had a bunch of fun with friends and I do think that this game definitely fits in well in the switch and so I will be excited to at least check it out but it looks like for $4.99 you can add yourself in a new character
character and DLC. And the same thing remains to be seen. Will we see more characters featured into this game? And maybe we will, because it does appear that even before the game's announced, they're already starting to talk about post-game DLC. So that's exciting to see for Super Monkey Ball fans. And then the next game we're talking about is another one that I'll be very excited to actually see what it looks like when it's running on Switch hardware, as the trailer we saw for this game was just incredible and it looked beautiful. And that is Lego Star Wars Skywalker Saga, as this will be the first one from Lego Company that actually goes through all of the history of every single Star Wars movie, at least the mainline ones, as far as episodes one through nine. And I could leave out seven, eight, and nine as a Star Wars fan, but you know that they're gonna be included in there as well. I'm just not personally not happy in the direction that Disney went with that, but you know, that's neither here nor there. The game looks beautiful, it looks fantastic, and I do think that this one will be worth picking up and playing through. And you know, in traditional Lego game fashion, they're adding in a lot of comedy in moments that you know you're still getting the core story, but you're seeing a lot of different jokes added in there, and it kind of lightens up the mood because obviously, you know, Lego does tend to target a younger audience and keep it light but regardless seeing all the different styles of gameplay that you can actually tackle in this one title is really impressive as you see things like you know the lightsaber battles you see things like space shooter elements and on ground shooting elements so there's going to be a ton of different sections of this story that unfolds where you will play on different terrains and different types of style of play and I think that looks really exciting to me as you know the Star Wars universe for me is huge and it's incredible and I love it so to go through this game and play through all nine movies on the Nintendo Switch is very exciting to me and we can look forward to this game's release at spring of 2022. Now the last game we're talking about today is one we got a nice overview trailer for from Nintendo today and that is WarioWare Get It Together as if you guys can believe it this game is already going to be out on September 10th so that is going to be quickly approaching us and be right around the corner and I think they did a really good job presenting the new gameplay elements that are included in this WarioWare. I think this definitively looks like the best WarioWare game we have seen to date and I anticipate having a ton of fun especially with friends on this game and I will be picking it up and the cool thing is is because you know, WarioWare were primarily 3DS or DS titles. They are pricing this game at $50 as opposed to the full price 60. And if you're like me and you buy your games at Walmart, you may be able to even find it at $40 as Walmart likes to sell their games $10 off in a lot of parts of the country for some reason. So pro tip there, if you do, if you do buy physical games, go to Walmart, you can save yourself some money. But the overview trailer does do a good job of, you know, kind of covering some things that we hadn't really seen a lot of exposure to. Like for example, in the actual gameplay story mode, I guess you could call it, there is kind of like a Mario Party style progression board and it does look like you can play through this game in co-op and then you actually unlock new characters as you go. And the cool thing about the new characters element being added into this game is the simple fact that you can actually complete the puzzles differently with different styles of characters so i can see this being a ton of fun i do think i'll probably you know play through it on co-op with a buddy and then probably just break it out as a party game as you know every now and then you need to switch up from the classic party games that we're used to playing with friends like mario kart 8 smash bros and super mario party and all of those great switch titles i do think that this will be another one to have on the shelf and ready to play and experience with friends together and i think it's going to be a ton of fun especially if people are new to the warrior wear style series i would be curious to know if you guys are going to be picking this one up so please make sure you share your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below i also just want to say if you guys didn't actually watch this trailer yourself i would actually go through and watch it because i think we need to make a campaign for nintendo to actually make wario their spokesperson because i think he is probably the most entertaining character as far as on-screen presence to command your attention like there's multiple points in the trailer where he's like no 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 stop listen to me I'm still talking you know let, wait there's something else around the corner and the way that he does it in his voice is fantastic so I'm all for a Nintendo Direct being held by Wario as the presenter and I would love to know what you guys thought about it so make sure you do check out Nintendo's trailer as it is on their channel as of today but guys at this point in the video I want to know all your thoughts and opinions on everything that we talked about today are you planning on picking up any of the games that we covered here did you watch Gamescom 2021 day one and what do you think about it overall were you let down that there weren't some major Nintendo announcements because you know I wasn't expecting that so I wasn't super let down but it also wasn't like the greatest event overall and even you know for me being a PlayStation fan as well I didn't really have anything major to look forward to out of this event but there was some cool gameplay trailers and some things focused on that I liked but I would love to hear from you guys on this and then again the big question is is which of the games if any are you planning on picking up for the Nintendo Switch at release thanks so much for watching the video today everyone I do truly appreciate you all sticking around until the end I do at this point in the video want to invite you all one more time to join Sunburn Nation if you haven't done so already do so by subscribing below hit the like button on your way out if you enjoyed it today and make sure you turn on your bell notification icon so you're kept up to date with all the newest gaming news that's going to do it for me guys I hope you all have a great day Sunburn Nation out